Hey, we're back! Oh my god. So yeah, um, I fucking bit the dust, as you can see right there. My corpse is lying right there. Just the typical dead guy pose. Yeah. And we're about to get shot down by the Wild West itself. I'll do this one. <laughs> hey, Polnareff. <clears throat> Polnareff. Tatsia died for you. You owe him a debt. If not for you, he'd be alive. <laughs> uh, damn it! Where are you? Calm down, Polnareff. Tatsia died for you. You owe him a debt. If not for you, he'd be alive. <laughs> you two morons will be reunited in hell. <laughs> Your sister was so cute, Polnareff. When you get there, why don't you ask how I killed her? Bastard! Polnareff, don't let him get to you, he's leading you to his trap! Your chariot can't cut my hanged man! Not when he's in the mirror! Your stand can't enter the mirror world! Too bad! God, that really hurts! Ugh, I think I have a liquid in front of me. Hey, whole horse. Shoot this asshole. Aye, aye, sir. Die. Emerald Splash. Huh? Emerald Splash. What? <laughs> Argo. <gasps> what? He attacked. Olmoreth. I get it now. He was trying to save his life. <laughs> They're out of my range. Even if I hit him, he won't do none any good. Huh? But where's Jake Al? Guess he went after him. He really wants that Polner up dead, huh? Shit, he ran quick. Did you see that? Yeah. Um. Polnareff, is that you? Give me, give me, give me, give me this. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, Alright. I, I'm sorry, Kekuloid. I, I used to think that as long as I avenged my sister, it didn't matter what happened to me. But, I understand now. I understand what Tassio was trying to say. I won't let his sacrifice be in vain. Do you really get it now? Yeah. Ow! Kakuin elbowed Polnareff hard in the face. Take that instead of a handshake, Polnareff. Yeah, yeah. honestly, af after all that bullshit Polnareff kind of spouted with today, he kind of had it coming. Yeah. Thank you, Kakuin. Oh. Next time they come after us, they'll have to take us. They'll have to take us both on. I still don't like this. I, 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 I definitely stabbed him with my sword. It didn't do a thing. Even if I break the mirror his stand reflected in, there's no way to damage the stand itself. My stand can't enter the mirror realm. Take note of this conversation right here because it's gonna get fucking retconned hard. How can I manage a counterattack? Damn it! Polnareff, you say mirror realm, but this isn't a fantasy novel or a fairy tale. It's impossible for that to exist. Not until part five with the stand man in the mirror. Which, whose ability is to pull things into a mirror dimension. And this dimension is shown to be real. <laughs> yeah, it's real. It's just that Hangman works a little different. Hangman is a reflection-based stand. Man in the mirror exists within a mirror. So, you know, it makes yeah, sense, you know? Say, like, the Hangman, you can only see him in a mirror, so if you slash where he would be in the real world, you hit him. Actually, he's right? actually the stand's made of light. 
So here's the thing. So you still kind of can, but I mean, like. Yeah, here's the thing. Quote, if you destroy the mirror, here's the thing. When Polnareff destroys a mirror, it'll be shown later, actually, but there's a little tiny speck of light that moves really quickly because light's super fast, you know? Yeah, it's the fastest thing. And here's the thing. Polnareff stand, you know, can see things pretty quickly because, you know, he's a speed type stand. So, Polnareff is the only one who can really defeat the Hanged Man. What do you mean? You saw him too. He only exists inside of the mirror. When I turned around, he was gone. Yes, but mirrors are no, no, no more than reflections of light. It's impossible for anything to be inside. No, <laughs> get. You know, we already had that discussion. Let's not talk about any further about Man in the Mirror. Yep. You don't need to tell me that. But think about our situation. It's a world inside a mirror really that much more unbelievable than stands? Not really, no. I mean, I read a lot of JoJo, and let me tell you this, man. After everything, I'm kind of ready to suspend my... I'm, I'm kind of ready to, like, you know, um, throw some logic out the window, you know? It doesn't exist. Yes, it does! Man, cut me some slack. There's obviously a trick behind the hanged man. If stands can only be defeated by their stands, then he has to have some weakness. Yep, he's in the reflection. Yep. Polnareff! He's in the plenty of the steering wheel! He followed us here! What? He broke out the window. Shoot! See, in order to get away from that hey man, Kakuin crashed the truck. Kakuin! Kakuin! Uh, are you okay? Kakyoin! Ugh. I landed on my chest, but I'm fine. Okay, at least it wasn't your eyes. Yeah, my eyes are okay. Hey, did you see that? What? Yep. He's bouncing from the from the reflections. He got a knife swung at Polnareff. Ugh! Carry it! The bumper is slashed. Sh shit! Kakyoin, get away from anything with the mirror! I get it now. I, I just saw it. I saw him jump from mirror to mirror. It moves by bouncing between reflective surfaces until it reaches us. So yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting, ain't it? But here's the thing. If it can bounce on anything in reflective surfaces, it can be on, like, you know, reflective buttons, your very own fucking eye. Uh reflective surfaces, then his stand works like light. Kakyoin! If he's in the bumper, we're trying to jump from there to here next. Get away from anything reflective, and it removes everything shiny from your clothes. Those buttons have gotta go. But he's not in the bumper. Did you get an accident, get... sir? I can get some medicine! Huh? Hey, kid, get out of here! Uh. Hey, your car's all beat up! You're bleeding, too! Yeah, you know, now you wonder why I mentioned the eye for some reason, huh? Mm -hmm. He's in the reflection of the child's eye! I gotta be okay with those wounds! The bastard, he's in the kid's eye! Hey, kid, look away! Huh? I told you to look away, didn't I? Let's do what I'm telling you. But you're injured! Look, we're fine, see? I guess I'll run around. Go, go, go away, go away. What? But you're bleeding! Scram! Scram, kid! Huh? Damn you, G! Do you live in a cat? God damn it, that was the wrong one. <laughs> God damn it, Jay! <laughs> now what, Paul Ref? Oh, that really hurt. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Are you really gonna? Are you really gonna stab this sweet innocent child in the eye? Sorry, I had a fly in my throat. Just a hat of discipline. Do you even a cane? <laughs> He's rolled. The knife of discipline, Ed boy. 
the mirror of discipline, Ed Boy. Look at your past reflections of your sins, Ed Boy. I finally got you. There's nowhere to run. Not unless you carve this kid's eye out. That's just low. First he snuck up on Tatsia, and now he knows we can't harm the kid. I can't for- I'll never forgive this guy. Hee hee hee! Kakyoin? You said it all wrong! Wait, what? What?! Listen up. When you're fighting a battle for revenge, you're supposed to say, my name is John Pierre Polnareff, in order for the souls of my young sister and my friend Tansia to finally be in peace. I'll send you straight to hell, Jane. Thanks. Like that. Where'd that music come from? Sorry about this kid. I'll buy you a careful cantilator, okay? Get some sand in the kid's eye. Ah! I can't see! There he is, you see him? Oh, He's going for Polnareff's eye! I'm not sure how he does it, but his sand moves to the speed of light. Normally, I can't cuss on this fa that fast on my sword. But if the kid shuts his eyes, He's got only one place to run to. Mine. I know his trajectory, therefore cutting him. It's child's play. He's reflecting the eye of Polnareff and he's wounded. Well, good thing I didn't do I didn't need to do that, you know. Yeah. Over there, that's him. Prepare to die. J. Thank you. You're welcome. That bastard, at last. At last we meet, Jake Guile. <sighs> My name is John Pierre Polnareff. <sighs> We've seen right through your sand's tricks. Yeah, no, you fucking not. Moving from mirror to mirror, reflection to reflection, it's a stand of light. And it's too fast to attack with my sword normally. But when it moves between surfaces, it's completely defenseless. If I slice that split second of motion, it's history. If not for Kakoid and Tatsia, I might have died for never knowing that. <gasps> Polnareff! That's not the man with two right hands! That's not Jay Guile! So yeah, a fucking knife has now been thrown to Polnareff's back. Yeah. What? So you ready to see what Jay Guile looks like? Uh -huh. Let me tell you this. Imagine a, pota imagine a potato with two right hands. Polnareff! Good lord. Oh my god. Got this. God, I can feel the phlegm from that one. Gross. <laughs> I know it looks like a zit, but good lord. He's just a normal beggar. I caught him in the same place as Deloya here. And you fell for it. Maybe you should have thought twice before assuming he was me, boys. Never even see my face. Yeah, I never want to see your fucking weird little pimple face again. Ugh, you bastard. Cutting up an innocent man. How dare you cut an innocent man I was heckling just a few seconds ago. How low can you get? Take this, Emerald! Everybody gather round. Yes, you should have been giving everybody. That's a death sentence for a tourist in India right there. You know that, right? Yeah. It's like, oh dear God. What? What did you? Oh, 
Thanks. Hey, give me some. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. They're, they're trapping Polnareff and Cat going in a circle. Gasp. The hangman is reflected in the beggar's eyes. What was that earlier? You saw the wise dance tricks. They need to attack you while I'm in motion. He's like a prepubescent job of the hut and it terrifies me. Dormesis. I knew all my stand's weak points. You can't attack me if I don't know where I'm coming from. I might as well be invincible. He's moving rapidly, rapidly between the beggar's eyes. Hey, look away! D don't look at us! Right, let me show you if we're gonna beat this fight, alright? Just get out of here! Polnareff, these guys are just innocent bystanders. We can't afford to let them get hurt. So, what next? They will listen to a thing you say. But we still can't hurt them. There must be another way. Luckily, I could fight this normally, but I'm gonna use the I win button again, alright? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Brainstorm. Alright, that was fast. <laughs> Nowhere to run, Polar F. Or are you gonna kill all these people? <laughs> you wasted your best years for soon. Ah, it's almost too sad. Your sister was just one of many girls I and Jake Guile. I've had the pleasure of killing him. Now you see, the moment this guy starts talking about his backstory, you know he's about to fucking bite it. Bites the Justo. Her cries for help were music to my ears. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> now die. Polnareff, you said it all wrong. <laughs> Uh, not this shit again. We're taking revenge. You're not supposed to say, son of a bitch. Follow my lead. My name is Kakyoin Noriaki. In order for the souls of my po Polnareff sister and my friend Tati to finally be at peace. Kakyoin. Kakyoin took a coin out of his pocket. You will pay with, with your life. Yeah. Oh! Money! If you can catch it, it's all yours. A coin that's so shiny, you can see your reflection in it. What? Whoa! The beggars are staring at the coin. Oh, I see what you're up to, Gagoin. Polnareff, their gaze focus at a single point. In other words, this hangman only has one place to run to. Oh, that's- you- I said your line by accident. I'm so sorry. It's fine. In other words, his head- his head manly at one place to run to. Mercy, Kakyoin. He's in their eyes right now. So if I kick up a little dust... Yar! At the blink of an eye! Your cries are music to my ears, Jake Guile. I'll make sure you keep crying all the way to hell. But first... I'm gonna turn you into a fucking pit cushion. You know how long I've been waiting for this? And now he's been impaled on the fence. I'll leave the rest to the devil. So, this, so that's the true hanged man. The lowest of the low. Hell yeah. We did it, boys. We stopped a serial murderer. Slaps top of car. This thing could fit so much fucking character development in it. Yeah. <laughs> You're starting to like Polnareff now, aren't you? I've always liked Polnareff. What are you? Hey, what are you, stupid? What was that? What was that S in your name stand for? Stupid? Yes, the S in car stands for stupid. No! <laughs> You up, Tasia? 
Surprise, I live. Jotaro? Where am I? What happened? This is to no one's surprise. Yeah. Don't, don't waste your energy, Tatsuya. You were at a hospital in the Speedwagon Foundation retreat. You were shot by an enemy stand user. You know, I probably you think I you think you remember being shot in the almost shot in the head. You know, you were shot in the head. So I bet you're wondering how the fuck did I survive getting shot in the head? Whatever. Even though you were shot in the head. Your body lurched back when you were stabbed, and the bullet just grazed the skin. See, that makes sense, right? Like, if you're stabbed in the back, you wouldn't- you pretty much would lurch for, like, you know, back, you know? Because it's like, oh, my fucking back, you know? Like, you ever got hit the, like, have you ever got hit- have you ever got slapped in the back so hard you lurch back? Yeah. Same principle, basically. Except with a knife and a bullet, so... Mm hmm I see. I'm lucky to be alive. That's right, Polnareff! Is he okay? Hey, settle down and reopen your wounds. He's fine. I just got a call from Kakyoin. He says Polnareff managed to finally get his revenge. I, I see. That's a relief. I'm sorry, Tatsuya. If I had been able to stop him, you'd never have been hurt, so... Hey, hey, it could have been you in this hospital better, right? Mm-hmm. It was my I decision... Oh, no, he... Mm. He does no. later, but not No, he does. Not, no, he does, and he doesn't die. It was my decision to go after Polnareff. You have nothing to apologize for, Abdul. For Christ's sake, Tatsuya. Didn't I tell you to quit sticking your nose where it didn't belong? I thought you were gonna play the Do You Live in a Cave sound effect. Do you live in a cave? Sorry. Well, it, it's a good thing you're alright. You can be so goddamn stupid. Baka! Baka. Alright, here's the real question. Why are you such a fucking student today? Listen carefully. It's about whether or not you'll be coming with us. Huh? Your wounds aren't finished healing, and if you move too much, you might reopen them. It'll take another week for you to fully recover. Luckily, thanks to Catgoy's quick thinking, the enemy thinks that you've died. If you were to return to Japan right now, they should leave you alone. Of course, having you with us makes all make us all more confident. We also realize the danger. That's why we want to leave it up to you. Do you want to accompany you with us on this journey still? Fuck yeah, we're using the journey. I'm guessing pressing return to Japan has, that's an ending. No, it's not. It just launches you back to the title screen. I want to continue the journey. I just... see. Thanks. Yaddy yaddy, does it? However, Dio's assassin has stolen the impression we lost a teammate. We might be able to use this to our advantage. Why don't we entrust our necessary travel preparation to Tatsuya? Good idea. We can have him help us without exposing him to whatever dangers surround us. But couldn't you just leave that to the Speedwagon Foundation? No, if we did that, we'd make our aims obvious. It'd be far too conspicuous to the enemy. Plus, none of the Foundation members can see stands. They might run into trouble without a stand user in tow. And of course, if we're going to separate, there's no telling what'll happen. Since you don't want to resist from the enemy's point of view, you're perfect for the job, Tatsuya. The Foundation will take care of the expenses, so money is no object. You'll pose as a rich tourist and buy something for us. Buy what? <laughs> a submarine, of course. Preferably a small but powerful one. No matter how many stand users he is enlisted, they can't follow us to the bottom of the ocean. That's a bunch of bullshit. You Little caught onto that immediate. You. you know immediately there's going to be a stand user. There's going to be a stand that can go underwater again. <laughs> it's like to the bottom of the ocean. That's a bunch of bullshit. 
That'll make us Egypt to breathe. I will say, the stand user we fight in the submarine is probably one of the coolest stands I've ever seen. So, can we count on you? Understood. Either way, I can't do much till I'm healed. You guys better get going. You got it. Thanks for everything. Just in case the worst happens, we've hired two bodyguards to accompany. I bet you're wondering who those two bodyguards are. Is it a horse? Oh, oh no, it's fucking Stroheim and Subito. Again, yeah. No need to fear, little man. I, Stroheim, will protect you with my life. That's you. What is the vampire a pillar, man? Hey, I take offense to that, motherfucker. I blow them to smithereens. Same goes for stand users. I'll also be accompanying you. I may not be much help in battle, but I picked up a thing or two in the slums. Yeah, a flamethrower and a fucking bazooka. And an on-job hat. Yeah, I will admit, his hat's fucking cool. I'll definitely take back Jonathan's body. That man was a true gentleman. I won't forgive anyone who would dare to use him for their evil games. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find someone... Yeah, it's kind of hard to forgive someone who... You know, will forgive you after slicing up their arm with a fucking odd job hat, right? Yeah. Oh shit, my headphones got unplugged. Oh no, oh god. Just say the line, I'm, I'm sure you'll say it. Oh god, where are they? Oh right. shit, oh Maybe god, you, oh fuck, oh three. shit. Stay safe. Uh, 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 there we go, I can hear sound now. Alright, we're leaving it up to you three. Stay safe. Stay frosty. Hold her right there. Huh? <clears throat> now I got you. You're in no place to be taking a relaxing stroll. Oh, excuse me right there. <clears throat> I already proved that you're no match for me. You should run while you still can, got it? Isn't that right, Mr. Guile? Shit, you didn't do it. Oh, sorry. A bit late, but just keep that on hand, just in case. Yep. Uh, I've caught up to you, so you might as well react a little. It's the end of your lives. Why don't you show? Why not a show of bravery? Come on, show a little backbone. Come on, Mr. Guile. How thoughtful. He's trying to scatter glass around for Jay Guile, not realizing he's dead. Uh, Wait, what? Are, are you listening to me? Jay Guile! Just quit it. He can't hear you. He's busy being tortured in hell. Come on, you think I'm an idiot that I fall for such an obvious bluff? His mirror stands invincible. That's As if me. he. Oh, that's you. Wait, no, wait, that He's... is. No, it's, it's a glitch, it's a glitch. As if you could take him down. Oh, yeah, some of that happens sometimes. Okay. Not even I could do that. Cut That's the awesome. crap, Paul and Ref. <laughs> His buddy is about four or five miles away if you want to see for yourself. How about it? Alright, don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta respect the whole horse. He's got the hustle, you know? He's like, shit. The best part is I don't, as, as I told you, I don't hear music, so the only thing I heard was just the withdrawal sound. <laughs> so we just imagine, please hire us. Say, hey, hey, go back here, asswipe. I can't beat them under these circumstances, not alone. I have to run away and wait for my next chance to strike. Upper best in a group. Better be number two than number one, that's my motto when he objections. So yeah, gotta start the hustle, you know. He knows he's not the strongest, so he always calls himself the number two stand user. Yep. Gotta respect the hustle. And besides, we get more clear motivations as to why he's working for Dio anyways. GUY! Uh, fucking, uh, fucking Doomfist! Mr. Joestar, Junro, Alto! Yeah! Yeehaw! We heard about Tatsia. We had to bury him in a shallow grave. 
You should have buried me in the deep end of the pool then, Mr. Joestar. Keep going. Okay. I had to edge my back. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to kill him. It's Jay Gal, you want honest. The coward who stabbed Tachi in the back was Jay Guile. But this guy's bullet delivered the killing blow. He had survived if he had, hadn't been stabbed, but... What do we do with this guy? I'll lay down with his sentence. Death. What? <laughs> hey, huh? You wanna do that? Run, my love! What's with this chick? Whole horse, I don't know what they want with you, but your safety is all I need. It's my reason for living. Please hurry. Got this woman. Come on, let go. What are you thinking? Jotaro, get going. What are you doing? He's getting away. We're too late. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well said, baby. Thanks to your compassion, I will live on. I'm running away because I love you, babe, forever and ever. Hey, stop right there. And remember, whole horse respects women. Like, we, we didn't see this. If we had, if we had Abdul go with him, we'd get the whole like whole horse introduction scene where he's like, I can't marry you, babe, because I travel everywhere and it would break your heart if I left you. So, you know, he's a respectable man. I respect this man. He respects women. Uh, hey, don't scream. Come on, woman. I have pulled her up. Pulled her wrong so hard she's bleeding. She was just being used. Besides, I don't think he intends to fight us anymore. He didn't attack us, and we don't have any time to go after him. Hey, you. Show me your arm. We don't want to get infected. He's he basically makeshift bandage. Tatsuya is gone. But we have to move forward. It's been nine days since we left Japan. Shit. She has a portrait. You know what that means? Is this the fucking titty girl? That's until we get to Egypt itself. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's the fucking... It's the fucking oh shit! Yeah, it's the weird human zit. It's the zit. Well, so be it. To Egypt we go. Ready, guys? All we gotta do is work together. Team is no match for this team. If we split up, we're sitting ducks. Got it? Now, let's get a move on. Glad he's in a good mood. Is that a sheep? Did you say, did you say something, Paul or Ref? Hmm? Nah. Maybe it's just a fly buzzing around? There's a lot of them around here. That sounded oddly like a sheep. I don't think flies sound like sheep, Paul and Ref. I don't know. I didn't hear anything. Maybe. Yeah. I guess so. Hmm? Zit. Speaking of flies, looks like I got bitten by something. Don't scratch it. Scratch it immediately. Rip it off your arm. If you were to scratch it, wouldn't it have been gone? Probably. I mean, it's made of flesh. But then again, mm -hmm. a stand a can only defeat another stand, so... <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> One week later, Tatsu made a full recovery. Now then, if it's a submarine we need, nothing can beat the U-Boat. Fight of the Nazis! To wait, Germany! Wait, what the fuck? Wait, now, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. It's been a week, and Joseph has just been laying that girl. What? Okay, so it's a week later after Joseph got that zit on him, and it's, he's just not cared. Oh, no. You you get you get the rest of that shit if you go the manga route. Hmm. So that actually just got skipped. Me, they just take out. Yeah, the we screen. we have no reason to follow the rest of them. We have. We're, remember, it's our fucking story. Remember. Okay, I thought they might have like you know gotten that a little bit. You, you see, you see what I mean, though, right? Yeah. See, what are you stupid? What, India? 
They're so out of your way, it's not even funny. Mrs. Joe started instructing me to pose as an Arabian billionaire. Apparently a lot of people in Saudi Arabia own submarines, so I'm supposed to go there and find someone who will sell me one. Hmm. German made subs are unbeatable, but I guess desperate times call for desperate measures. This is also a lot farther in the future, so we got better ones. Alright, to Saudi Arabia! Well, as best as the 1980s can get. This is also, you know, like, you can also, he's back in like the early 1930s and 40s, so... Yeah, well then again, if we're gonna be honest here, JoJo technology is pretty weird because they made a fucking cybernetic Nazi before America went to war with World War, in uh, with Germany, you know, in World War II. So that's pretty impressive. Let's waste no time, for Holly's sake. We should be careful, this area is a war zone. That's where we're bringing all these weapons with us. Got some dynamite, handguns, submachine guns, hand grenades, rations, bottled water, and some ointment, first aid, medical kit, tool kit, and some gold. That's literally entirely for you, isn't it? What? Like, I'm guessing you've left everything else somewhere oh. else. This is, this is just your inventory for now? Oh, no, we keep our inventory. I know, it's great. That's you. Let's wait. Let's not fight more than absolutely necessary. The Southwest Western Airport is our number one priority. Now, let's get moving. So I think shit on the levels. Don't worry. Destroy your weak as shit. He'll get more levels as it goes along, trust me. But we're to call it apart there. Yeah. 